Now, Dana Marie McNichol in West Palm Beach, Florida, with more on yesterday's assassination attempt. Kaylee, Ryan Ruth walked into that federal courtroom this morning smiling, shackled by his hands and feet. He was even seen laughing while speaking to his court-appointed attorney. Now, the judge presented two different charges, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon and a possession of a firearm with an obliterated serial number. Combined, the judge says he could face 20 years in prison and a half a million dollars in fines. Fox is told additional federal charges are possible, but we understand that these charges presented today will keep him in jail. Now, Ruth told the judge that he only makes about $3,000 a month with no assets other than two trucks in Hawaii. The sheriff said yesterday when Ruth was arrested, his demeanor was perplexing. And that continued today in the courtroom when he was smiling and laughing. Made the stop and then uh, at gunpoint uh, ordered him out of the vehicle. He complied. His demeanor was, was uh, perplexing in some way, despite the fact that we had numerous people out with rifles, uniform personnel, a helicopter. And we are just getting our hands on the affidavit, and a couple of things stood out to me. Um, he, it said he was driving a car with stolen plates. Of course, he fled the scene, and officers were able to uh, pull him over and arrest him on I-95. And then also, Ruth's mobile phone was detected in the area at 2 a.m., so the night before this happened, until 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Now, Ruth is being held in the Palm Beach County Jail, and he is expected in court for his next appearance on Monday, September 23rd. Dana Marie, thank you. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.